Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachooks and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we really see our program for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news update as the drop of the world so for now. Let's start with today's news. Alright, so the coach of FC Porto, Sergio Concecao, or Concecao, gets so Babano Komacha called the talk tough ahead of the match where them will play against Arsenal for the Emirates Stadium. So first and foremost, Babako they clarify, say them know they fear Arsenal. We are not scared of Arsenal, we are confident of getting the job done at the Emirates Stadium. So he understands say Arsenal are a very very big side, yes, and Arsenal will get different different approach. Where they will take approach this game because Arsenal no go want to do the same mistake they do for the first leg. We will see they no anticipate the the, the tactics we Porto will do. Now the man, the man, they are very very knowledgeable. Because they talk say Arsenal, say don't study them. Say Arsenal can play with maybe uh, Declan Rice for the defensive midfield role, or they'll play with Jorginho for the defensive midfield role and allow Rice to roam around. You get say if they, they play with Jorginho, a different game. If they play with Rice. A different game. Say for the attack, if Arsenal play with Jim the game will be different. If they play with Kai Havertz as a number nine, it will be different. If Martinelli is playing, it's different. If Trossard is playing, it's different. Like the guy just analyze everything, break and down. So it all depends on how Ateta will set up. Say them, they will be very very reactive. Once they don't see what they ask now, put out, they will come react, which means they are going to be setting up in different different shape. So that got and now it's still in the realm of speculation. They don't know how Arsenal will set up. But once we this year, we say it's only for the media space. Say Martinelli will not go play. Which means we are likely to see Trossard. Yeah, so now when lineup don't come, I think one hour before the game, that kind of 8 pm. So the lineup supposed to don't come out. They will go see who and who after that will select. But I know some names don't be sure it gets. Likes of Declan Rice, the back four it gets. Now I think I will decide whether I go play Zinchenko or I go play Jacob Kivio. Me, I go maintain, make it continue with Kivio because Kivio has been solid for the past few games. So we don't play like you don't make that left fullback role in your own. You get that has been playing fantastically well. For the number nine, Kai Havertz is doing well. I don't know, should the uh, Resus be coming in because this is not built in fitness? Should he come in? You get because when the Resus play, the dimension and our dynamism is different. When Kai Havertz is there, it's different. I need to understand, say, if the Resus day, that cross and not, we will be limited because today there will be a lot of low blocks and mid blocks. So we feel they restricted to cross and not. Like, I expect a lot of cross and not today. Like corner kick, set pieces, you get normal crossing, you get so well. We just say everything go food. The coach only talk tough. Well, we will see. All right. So happy Ramadan Mubarak to all our Muslim and uh, brothers and sisters. Get so Muslim fasting don't begin. This is the time of reflection, devotion, and spiritual growth. You get. I don't even know. So now yesterday things started based on. I know be Muslim, so I wasn't aware. You get that's why I know I announced it yesterday. Now some people come into my DM, say, "Satyus, ah, Ramadan Mubarak don't start." Ah, I don't know now. Nah, I don't tell me. So I just the app is at least they corrected me on time. So I just pray may God deal with now. Eh, because fasting no day easy. Please tell fasting. Oh, sir, please I do some. Come on, me, you know easy, you know easy. So may God just give now the strength eh, to go through. I don't know how many days eh, mostly they will do one. I don't say Christian now forty days. So may God just deal with now all through. Eh. All right, so the uh, coach of uh, FC Porto never talk finish. But back on the say it will be hard to actually beat Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. He gets, but they are not scared, like he said. Now, but back on the say the team we Arsenal will put out a few difference. Now, you get what team can talk with. I really, really consider. They want to say the quality of the top teams in the EPL is quite different. Like it's higher than the quality of the teams. In Portugal, the likes of Benfica, Sporting Lisbon, Porto, like Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool, the quality they them get, they higher than their own. But that no mistake themselves, no better quality. Because in second, they mention some of the players, Galeno, Emmanuel Sim, Conceca, waiting for midfield, maybe your own song. You get, you might need the coaching song for that they are seeing that. Like this one, they are finding that now they do research. 
So you can't say then say get their own quality and they would like to prove a point. Even their own goalkeeper, they will go start. I said don't play for the game. So instead would like to prove a point. In fact, now if I talk, say should be asked on a favorite for this game. Oh yeah, they make us now come prove that favoritism you get. Why they choose them as the favorites to qualify ahead of FC Porto? So the coach is saying so much. Say ask now, we are better. You get. In the like in the first leg now, the guy could explain say Aston no got one shot on goal, and I remember. But he was like, it was not like Arsenal did not shoot, just that it wasn't on goal. Arsenal had shots, but they were off target. But this time around, at the Emirates Stadium, they called Arsenal say whether they would do the same approach. He called explain say every game have their own story. Yes. So whether they will come here, come defend, like set up a low block or a mid block or play ten men behind the ball. Now when the match starts, we will see how it will be. Now at the same time, Consequeo, you know, say the, the coach, now Sergio Consequeo, I'll be Consequeo. Then the player, Consequeo, also will be in son. Instead of the, for the press conference, when they ask him how the approach will be. Now this boy, he made some sensible arguments. He got the talk, say, coming to the Emirates, playing 10 men behind the ball, sitting back and hoping for a draw. He gets hoping for a goalless draw, the Arsenal should not uh, score. You say, not, not bad approach. He be that they are supposed to come here and attack like they need to score a goal for them to qualify to the next round because himself no say this is not the Estadio do Dragao this is the Emirates Stadium the home of Arsenal you are playing against the league leaders so you need to show them some respect yeah, so you need to come aside and play because for the first leg Adeta accused Porto of not coming to play but uh, setting up a low block. The coach on the other hand talks say Arsenal came to play, we came to win. You get the guy won't ask Adeta that say, see what's in the Porto coach talk say when I come and started to drag out to come play. So now don't come to win. I thought I said, ah, oh, no, those are strong words. Those are strong words. But no worry, I'm most ready to go for the every said them after that I don't beg everybody, every fan say, oh my today say ah. Now that's make this place magical, make it electrifying, make your voices heard down, 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 far away from London. I'm on today now, today. All this is so around the talk all these days. And today now, it don't reach now. 9 pm Nigerian time. We we'll see how everything will stop. So, like, what's in the boy they talk? I know that in Papa, or the coach, go do what's in the talk, see, they go come and second attack us, or whether they go see set up a low block. Guess what? Oh, just the watch that. She'll be not today. Alright, so Odegaard self going to do a press conference with Arteta. So the point they ask Odegaard some questions, say I take see this FC Porto match will come. Now Odegaard can explain say we actually used Brentford as a test of our abilities to play against teams that set up mid-block and low blocks. Yes. And teams you see they like to break play, breaking transmission, they did plenty, plenty. Against Brentford, the ball was in play for 49 minutes. Against FC Porto in the first leg, the ball was in play for only 50 minutes. So, Brentford and FC Porto will play similar style of football. When they meet an opposition, they are scared of. They know, say, if they come outside, they will lose. So, they can't play defensive football. They call it the dark arts in Champions League. So, since we dispatched Brentford very, very well, easily. So, what they got saying are the same approach. We tend to keep our emotions in check. Yes, because they'll try to annoy you, they'll try to rile you up, say things, but keep your emotions in check, your eyes on the prize. At the end of the day, we'll make sure so we collect all maximum three points. And since we are playing at home, like there's no go play, but everybody says, no, go and check away the wine. All right, so what the guy comes to the talk, so we'll play our own game and not really focus on Porto's game because Porto, they like so much time wasting. If we touch play, I go roll down five times, four shots, ah, all those kinds of like, no go really pay attention to all those their antics. Focus on our own game, play the game, put them under pressure, and we must make sure we are fast to get. So once they counter us, before we counter them, before they are mid block, we we'll join the defense, we enter them back. The Coco be say we are playing at the Emirates Stadium. If go no enter, cross are not go enter. Cross are not go enter. Penalty go enter. It's like something more sharp so for this night. All right, so you are right. Come come and start saying they very very confident. Say Arsenal will actually win the league. Say the new signings where Arsenal don't sign. Guess that's a uh, Raya Harvard and who else? And Declan Rice. Guess so these signings. So they will really help Arsenal win the league and when you look at it, say the experience from last season also they play a role for this season like Arsenal have learned a lot because they went through a lot even though they got said this in his own press conference, the interview then do 
But like I say, experience doesn't have to do with age because almost everybody for the team don't go through one thing or the other. So all those things they factor in because sometimes it'll be about age. You get, look at how old is Bukayo Saka. Look at how many games he has played for Arsenal. Over 200 games. You know how many seasons he don't span. So it'll be by your age. It's by what your life experiences and all these things. Now they make Arsenal not be like to be called butlers again for this league. Ah, no, no, no. Alright, Martin Keown, on the other hand, come make one statement for talk sports will really take me aback. Now, he called the talk say, Arsenal never ever needed a number nine. Like so many people in the media were saying, say that was lazy journalism. Now, do you put that? It was lazy journalism. They don't do their research well. Look at now, say Arsenal, they fire on all cylinders. Say before, Arsenal will create like 30 chances, they know will score. Like they said a whole lot. But me, I just feel. He's being economical with the truth. How can you come out and say Arsenal no need a striker? Are you telling me because it's a sad idea for the panel? I was can. Are you saying if Arsenal, if for January now they give Arsenal Osimhen or Ivan Tony or Vlaovic or Victor Gyokeris? Yes. Are you saying those guys will not come in and improve Arsenal? Are you saying they will be a liability? If they come in that won't feel their impact. Shame that because Kai Havertz they play a false nine for us and he get heights. Imagine say Kai Havertz you know they play for false nine. They never played striker before. How for take the drum? All those cross are not so they do now. How far to enjoy them? You get the way the guy they score important goals for us. So don't say that. At the end of this season, next season is going to be tougher than this one. If I'm show me now, nah, Asta will sign striker for the for one this season because I don't know whether I'm not subscribe to the line of thought like you feel we never ever needed the striker. Like, come on, there are some chances that they create for Gabriel Jesus, create for Kai Havertz. Even Kai Havertz gone, if you create 10 chances for him, you know, show me saying we'll score five. For you to understand that he's not even prolific, like he's not even efficient in front of goal. If you to create five chances for him, go score one. You get so nine minutes. How many chances you create for this guy? Where you go, go blow him. Even Gabriel Jesus, go blow him. But you get the kind of stack of go dead there. We'll be saying they take ice. Imagine you have somebody like Harry Kane. You won't create chance. Ten. If you create ten chances on the platter of goal for Harry Kane, how many do you think he will score? Let me know your thoughts. Forget say maybe a sports player and sports legend. How many goals do you think we score? Look, man, those skin is prime. You create chance for how many goals do you think? Benzema. How many goals do you think we score? Somebody will come come outside the doctor and say Arsenal never needed a striker. Really? Alright, so uh, me personally, I can't see the way I talk about that press conference. When you talk about Martinelli, I thought I know explicitly say Martinelli no go play. When they ask him about Martinelli, they say, What do you want? Do you want a percentage? Get say uh, I'm sorry to show like you know really talk at me. I just happy they do my end game for me. I'm surprised because see Martinelli for the bench today. I I just happy they do my end game. Although Brazil don't call the they don't call uh, Martinelli for the international break again based on the injury, but I don't know. I still get this tingling sensational feeling. Say I tell that this thing this this guy. Like we can still see Martinelli playing today, but we just the watch her. I just feel the I get. Alright, so Kyle Walker, come come outside the talk, say the hunger with them for Man City gets this season is to become the first side in the EPL to win the, the title back-to-back -to -back four times. Now, what's in the push them and the drive? And see, then they relish the opportunity to battle with Arsenal and Liverpool to the EPL crown, it gets. And say that 10 games remain, like a lot of things, twists and turns, dramas, many, many things will happen and so it will be more will enjoy the race. This one, for those of the talk, say Man City are tired, they are not motivated to win the league. She don't hear that from the horse's mouth. This is what it is. All right, my dear, I stand over. If you know what yesterday, should check the top left corner of your screen. We'll see the thumbnail. Click on so that you get all that now update as they drop over the world. So, start signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day and game out.